It seems like I can't go one video without complaining about map design. And today is no different. I want to complain about Bloodless and why it's a super lazy band-aid fix for maps. Alright, so here's what happened one day in Behaviors Headquarters. Man, our maps are really unbalanced sometimes. Is there a way to fix this? Hmm, we could just make the map spawns more consistent. But what if we added this feature where the killer gets faster the longer the chase goes? Absolutely genius. The thing about Bloodless is that it's so lazy. It's kind of like, you know how survivors have a hard time finding generators on indoor maps, especially newer survivors? Imagine if one day Behavior was like, guys, survivors can't find generators on indoor maps. So now we're going to make it so survivors can see the auras of generators on Ender maps. No, we will not be taking any further questions. To me, it is as lazy as that. Now, let me clarify that I think Bloodless as a feature is fine. It's not like toxic or unhealthy for the game. But what Bloodless does is it highlights just how bad maps are. If maps in Dead by Daylight were fine, then Bloodless wouldn't need to exist. Most loops would be mind gameable enough, they wouldn't be too strong or too weak, and there would be consistent pallet spawns throughout the map. But since things like breakable doors exist that allow for really strong windows and just be like hey you can just break the door stupid just lose th like two and a half seconds of chase stupid because those things exist bloodlust also needs to exist to make up for it and also some maps have really really strong loop chaining where survivors can go from one loop to another because they're all really close for example suffocation pit that middle of that map is just juicy as survivor and makes me want to die as killer and another thing about bloodlust is that it encourages players to not be good at chase if i'm a new player and i see that i keep getting faster the chase is, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm not going to break this pallet. I'll just stay here and get the speed. When 99% of the time, that's a terrible idea. What a lot of people have proposed in the DVD community is that Bloodlust is just stop at Bloodlust 1. There's no Bloodlust 2 or 3. And I'm generally on board with that idea. I think Bloodlust 1 does need a couple changes. For example, maybe they could slightly reduce the amount of time it takes to get it from like 15 to maybe 12. And then make it so every time you get a hook, it increases by a little bit up to a maximum of like 15 seconds. And every time a generator is completed that decreases it by a little bit up to like a minimum of let's say like six or eight seconds and I, I think if they add something like that it would slightly buff killers especially m1 killers man rip it would buff killers that need a little bit of a boost and maybe they're playing from behind and they don't have a super good chase power because remember if you use your power you lose bloodlust or if you break a pallet get stunned etc so i think something like this probably just help out the m1 killers and it would have like little to no change to the top tier killers and it would also remove bloodless 2 and 3 which honestly makes killers play worse not better in my opinion breakable doors they also have to go or breakable walls whatever i think what breakable walls allow behavior to do is make really strong windows and really strong loops and then just be like killer just break it man it's easy it takes like two seconds but on certain maps like dead dog saloons you have to hire an entire construction team to get rid of the all the walls in the main building because that main building bro anytime i play on dead dog saloon i just avoid it like the plague. I always ignore that main building. That main building sucks and I don't want to spend 20 years breaking the 10 breakable walls there. No thanks. To summarize, I think Bloodless 1 is fine. Maybe even buff it a little bit is for those M1 killers. But what Behavior needs to do is get rid of breakable walls, try to improve the maps that they have without adding new ones and not even just new ones, new variations that they just want to add for funsies. And that would make Bloodless a much better feature that would make sense and feels less like a lazy band-aid fix. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.